What is up bros and hoes, it's Ashler Optic Midnight. Today I'm making another Q&A vlog. So today we're using, I got a brand new webcam, so hopefully that looks really good. Um, and it should sound good. Uh, so you guys can see it's a little bit of a different backdrop than last week where I used my GoPro and like the whole, my whole setup was the backdrop. I don't know if you guys care, does it matter? Or are you just here to like listen to my answers to the q and I don't know, but I'm gonna answer your guys' questions that you asked me over on Twitter. Uh, so go follow me on my Twitter, go check that out. I'd really enjoy it if you guys check me out over there. That's the easiest way to interact with me, aside from probably my live stream. So, let's get into the questions. All right, Simba, let's read these questions, buddy. You read it, take take the honor of, okay. Yep, he, he doesn't know how to read, actually. Mudkip, do you ever think that Infinity Ward will do a COD 4 remaster slash remake for next gen consoles? I don't think so. Uh, if they do, it should not be a three year like cycle Call of Duty. I could see Call of Duty doing something like that, but Let's be real, I think people romanticize COD 4 so much. Let's be real. I, and I was a person that played COD 4 when it was out in 2007. That was when I started playing it. I absolutely adore the game. It's my first COD, it's amazing. It is an amazing game. There's so much amazing stuff about it. It's simple, it's good, the guns are amazing, I get that. But there's so much like literally game breaking stuff, not even talking about the hacker stuff. Okay, don't even talk about that. But there's so much like game breaking stuff in that game that if that game, was out right now, if, if that game was released instead of Advanced Warfare, people would literally be going insane. Like Frag Times 3, the Sonic Boom, like oh, just all of the stupid stuff that they have in there, like Martyrdom and Last Stand, like the, and Juggernaut. I mean, the game was great. Let's, let's be honest about that, but it had a lot of shit wrong with it. So would I buy it? Hell yeah, I'd buy it as a longtime Call of Duty fan, but I don't really think it's as good as people like to romanticize. Artemis asks, what do you usually order from Chipotle? Uh, well, it depends if I'm feeling a burrito or a bowl, but I'll usually get the same thing either. I'll get uh, white rice, some chicken, uh, some cheese, a little bit of sour cream. Oh, don't forget, I forgot the pinto beans. I want the pinto beans and some lettuce. I'm a real picky eater. I don't use salsa or corn, nothing like that, because I'm super picky. And that's just how I am. So it sounds pretty plain, but that's how I like it. What do you get from Chipotle Artemis? I want to know. Answer that in the comment section below. All you guys, what do you get from Chipotle if you like Chipotle? Drugos wants to know, when you make cereal, do you put the cereal first or the milk in first? I don't know what kind of insane person puts milk in before cereal. Like, how do you know how much milk you need? You don't. Bellies and Ninja, if you were given $1 million, would you keep it, donate it, or invest it? I've actually answered this before, so I'm not extra sure why I'm answering it now, but I do all of those things. If I had to pick uh, one of those things to do, I would invest. Miguel wants to know, which invention do you think has impacted mankind the most? I was gonna say airplanes, uh, but then, I mean, you could kind of do the same thing with airplanes, with trains, and like ships, which is actually what used to happen. I mean, airplanes make it faster, obviously, but I think, obviously, I mean, I was born during this time. The internet is literally the most mind-boggling thing if you really think about it. Back before, when I was born, this thing that you were watching me on didn't even exist. You might have never known that I existed because I was across the world or the universe, basically. Uh, so the internet is something that connects almost all of mankind, and that is why I think it is the most craziest thing ever. Reaper Meister, if you could say one thing face to face to all your haters, what would it be? I am ridiculous sometimes. Ricky, favorite moment as a sports fan, I'm assuming is to do with the late 90s Vikings. You're half right, it is something to do with the Vikings. Actually, the very, uh, well, it's actually technically the second Vikings game I went to, the first regular season Vikings game that I went to. Uh, if you don't know who the Vikings are, American football, Minnesota Vikings, it's our like home team. So I was in the Metrodome, okay, there was tons of people, and it was, uh, I was in 2012? Was it already that long? Sure, 2012, we'll say against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I miss like them handing off the ball, but they handed off the ball to Adrian Peterson, and he ran for 64 yards into the touchdown, basically untouched. I'll actually link a video down below of the actual play, because there's a video of it if you want to see it. Um, but if you watch the video, the sound the, in the video has nothing on how the sound actually is, because I was in a dome, right, the Metrodome, 
Uh, they'd since tore it down to make it a new stadium, but I was in the Metrodome and it was literally the loudest sound I've ever heard in my entire life. Just imagine like 60,000 people screaming at the top of their lungs all at the very same moment. That's exactly what happened. It's one of the craziest things I've seen in person. Uh, just the atmosphere, like I got goosebumps, the hair stood up on the back of my neck, everything. It was crazy. And final question from Dan, aka McMonkey. Favorite Christmas movie ever? So this is a hard to answer because I actually like a lot of Christmas movies. I don't know like which one to pick. Um, some of my favorites that I watch uh, around this time of year is Jingle All The Way because it actually took place here in Minnesota. It has Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's just a really good movie that I've been watching since I was little. Any of the Home Alone movies, those were actually my absolute favorites when I was little. I remember coming home from daycare and we had the VHS's right, it wasn't DVDs or internet back then guys, so I had the VHS and I would actually have Home Alone like pre-rewound ready to watch. I'd watch it, rewind it, watch it, rewind, like I literally was obsessed with Home Alone and I think The Lion King I was also obsessed with. So yeah, I'd have to say those two, Jingle All The Way and Home Alone, although I mean Elf, How The Grinch Stole Christmas, there's one I'm forgetting. Oh my god, what's it called? A Christmas Story. That's my favorite one too. That's my favorite old school one, A Christmas Story. So I know I just listed like five of them or something. I can't really pick one because I love them all. You guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comment section, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Like, What is your go-to Christmas movie that you watch every year around this time? I'd love to know. Spread the Christmas cheer, get to know you guys a little bit and enjoy, or know what your favorite movie is that you enjoy. Um, there's a lot of them, like I said, that I enjoy. I just named off some of my favorites. But if you guys say one in the comments section that I haven't seen, I might check it out. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's q and I Let me know you like the camera angle. I know the lighting isn't that good because it's actually nighttime right now. It's, I have much better daylight or, or light in the day uh, for videos. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did and make sure to comment your favorite Christmas movie. I'd love to know. Uh, and then let me know if you, do you guys want more Q&As? You let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.